Hi, it's Savannah O'Gwyn from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm sharing another video for my 2013 Christmas mini-series. Be sure to check out my video description for the other two videos in this series. For today, I want to show you how to create custom gift boxes. These are super, super easy and so fun to customize. There are so many paper smooches stamps that you can use for your design. And these boxes can be created for just about any holiday and for just about anyone. And they come in several different sizes. I love it! Now you're going to need just a few supplies for these gift boxes. First you're going to need some cardstock. I'm just going to be using some regular craft cardstock. Inks. And I've used several Sukaniko inks including Memento Lux Wedding Dress. You're going to need a We Are Memory Keepers gift box punch board. Now if you don't want to buy this, um, you can actually buy pre-made gift boxes that you can take apart. And you're also going to need your paper smooches stamps. Now for my gift boxes, I've pulled from all of my Christmas stamp sets. Now I have a lot and I absolutely love mixing and matching them. And for today, just to make it easy, I'm going to be using Chili Chums. So to get started, we need to create our box. You need to find your box size on the punch board and cut your cardstock accordingly. So for our video today, I've, I'm going to be creating a three and a quarter by three and a quarter by one and three fourths um, inch box, and that's what this size is. And to create this box size, I'm going to need an eight by eight inch paper. Next, start scoring your paper and punching. So what you're going to do is you're going to look down here, and this is the box size we're going to make. I've created an 8x8 paper. We're going to have our paper always start on the uh, large line, and then we're going to score always on the small diagonal line. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to take your paper and line it up with your large line. You're going to punch, and then I score from the edges in. So you do a horizontal line, and then you're going to do a vertical line, and then we're going to do the small diagonal line for each side of our box. Now that I've scored all my lines, I need to flip my paper over and punch from the reverse side, always lining it up with the same large line or L line. That actually is going to remove all these extra little pieces. Now I'm going to take my paper and punch the corners with the reverse punch on the back. And now we have the beginnings of our gift box. Next we need to stamp our design. And since I've created several of these, my tip would be that um, this center piece is the top of your box. So these will always be the bottom. So when you're stamping your design, you want to turn your paper this way, or, I mean, you can stamp a whole design all around this. I actually did that for this box. I stamped on all the pieces, and then I also stamped in silver the sentiment. Or you can do like I did for these boxes and just stamp in the center. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That's because I accidentally put the stamp on wrong. Uh, great thing about these gift boxes is that you can turn them over and use them this way. Actually, before I continue, I want to show you what you could have done on this. I stamped 
the reverse side. You could just outline it with black. That looks super cute actually. The only problem is that this is actually the reverse. So if you stamp it this way, his little tail is on this side, and the original image is this way. So it doesn't really tend to, tend to be correct, but if you didn't want to waste this gift box, you could have just done that. Now that I'm finished with my design, you can see the sentiments on there, and I love that craft on white. I think that's so awesome. And I have added up here on his little hat a bit of liquid applique to make it look fuzzy. And I probably should have added that second, or last actually. Um, now I'm going to fold the lines. So uh, be sure to add your decorations last. <laughs> so we're going to fold all of these long lines. And you're going to take your bone folder that comes with your uh, punch board and just fold that down. Same for this one. And now we're going to flip this over and we're going to pinch in the corners. They fold in really nice and you're going to pinch them in right here. Now we're just going to put it together. The cool thing about messing up on the inside is when they open up their box, they'll find a little surprise on the inside. Now that makes it sound like I actually did this on purpose. <laughs> but our secret, I didn't, I accidentally messed up. And then you just attach by folding it up and putting those tabs together. Now we have our little box. And that's it. Super simple. I hope that you will try creating your own custom box using your paper smooches stamps. Now for holidays, if you want to get a bit more classy for the person who is really hard to find for, just use white cardstock and some Whisker Graphics licorice vine twine. It's perfect. Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or projects, or a link up to the Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. Maybe you will be our next featured fan. Plus, I'd love to check your project out. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>